Visual Pleasure in Narrative Cinema, is an influential essay written by Laura Mulvey, a prominent feminist film theorist, in 1975. In this essay, Mulvey introduced the concept of the male gaze in cinema, which has since become a cornerstone of feminist film theory. Mulvey argues that traditional Hollywood cinema tends to present the viewer with a visual experience that is predominantly shaped by a heterosexual male perspective. She suggests that this perspective is reflected not only in the representation of women on screen but also in the overall structure and narrative conventions of mainstream films. One key aspect of Mulvey's argument is the idea that women in cinema are often objectified and positioned as passive objects of the male protagonist's desire. Mulvey examines how the camera's gaze tends to linger on the female body, reducing women to mere objects of visual pleasure for the male viewer. Furthermore, Mulvey discusses the concept of scopophilia, which refers to the pleasure derived from looking. She suggests that traditional cinema encourages a voyeuristic gaze, where the viewer is positioned as an active observer who derives pleasure from looking at the characters on screen, particularly women. Mulvey also delves into the notion of identification in cinema, arguing that the male protagonist typically serves as the primary point of identification for both male and female viewers. This identification reinforces the dominance of the male perspective in cinema and marginalizes the female experience. Overall, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema is a seminal work that continues to be influential in the fields of film theory and feminist studies. It offers valuable insights into the ways in which gender shapes the production, consumption, and interpretation of visual media. Here's a beginning-to-end synopsis of Laura Mulvey's Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema. Introduction Laura Mulvey introduces the concept of the male gaze in cinema, suggesting that traditional Hollywood cinema is predominantly structured to cater to a heterosexual male audience. Objectification of women Mulvey argues that women in cinema are often objectified and positioned as passive objects of male desire. The camera's gaze tends to focus on the female body, reducing women to objects of visual pleasure. Scopophilia Mulvey discusses the concept of scopophilia, which refers to the pleasure derived from looking. She suggests that traditional cinema encourages a voyeuristic gaze, where the viewer derives pleasure from looking at characters on screen, especially women. Identification Mulvey explores the notion of identification in cinema, noting that the male protagonist typically serves as the primary point of identification for both male and female viewers. This reinforces the dominance of the male perspective in cinema and marginalizes the female experience. Psychoanalytic Perspective Mulvey employs psychoanalytic theory, particularly the ideas of Sigmund Freud and Jacques Lacan, to analyze the dynamics of spectatorship in cinema. She discusses concepts such as the mirror stage, castration anxiety, and the Oedipus complex in relation to film viewing. Narrative Structure Mulvey examines the narrative conventions of classical Hollywood cinema, arguing that they often reinforce patriarchal ideologies and perpetuate the subjugation of women. Alternative cinemas Mulvey briefly discusses alternative cinemas and experimental filmmaking that challenge traditional narrative structures and representations of gender. She suggests that these alternative forms of cinema offer the potential for disrupting dominant power dynamics. Conclusion Mulvey concludes by emphasizing the importance of recognizing and challenging the male gaze in cinema. She calls for a more diverse range of perspectives and representations in filmmaking to counteract the objectification and marginalization of women. Overall, visual pleasure and narrative cinema offers a critical analysis of the ways in which gender shapes the production, consumption, and interpretation of visual media, particularly within the context of classical Hollywood cinema. Here's a condensed beginning-to-end synopsis of Laura Mulvey's Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema. Introduction Mulvey introduces the concept of the male gaze in cinema, where the audience is positioned to view the film through a heterosexual male perspective. Objectification of women She argues that women in cinema are often depicted as passive objects of male desire, with the camera lingering on their bodies for visual pleasure. Scopophilia Mulvey discusses how traditional cinema encourages voyeuristic pleasure in viewers, particularly through the act of looking at characters on screen, especially women. Identification She explores how viewers often identify with the male protagonist, reinforcing the dominance of the male perspective and marginalizing female experiences. Psychoanalytic Perspective Mulvey applies Freudian and Lacanian psychoanalytic theories to analyze the dynamics of spectatorship in film, including concepts like the mirror stage and castration anxiety.
Narrative structure. She critiques classical Hollywood narrative conventions for perpetuating patriarchal ideologies and subjugating women. Alternative cinemas. Mulvey briefly touches on experimental and alternative cinemas that challenge traditional narrative structures and representations of gender. Conclusion. Mulvey emphasizes the importance of recognizing and challenging the male gaze in cinema, advocating for diverse perspectives and representations in filmmaking to counteract the objectification of women. This synopsis provides an overview of the key points and arguments presented by Mulvey in Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema. Here's an analysis of Laura Mulvey's Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema. Introduction of the Male Gaze Mulvey's concept of the male gaze has been highly influential in film studies. It highlights how mainstream cinema often caters to the desires and perspectives of heterosexual men, shaping the way both men and women are represented on screen. Objectification and passivity of women Mulvey's critique of the objectification of women in cinema sheds light on the pervasive nature of gender roles in film. By portraying women as passive objects of desire, mainstream cinema reinforces traditional power dynamics and stereotypes. Scopophilia and voyeurism Mulvey's discussion of scopophilia emphasizes the role of looking and visual pleasure in cinema. She reveals how the act of viewing characters on screen, especially women, can perpetuate voyeuristic tendencies and reinforce societal norms regarding gender and sexuality. Identification with male protagonists Mulvey's analysis of identification in cinema highlights how viewers often project themselves onto the male protagonist, further reinforcing the dominance of the male perspective. This can marginalize the experiences and perspectives of female viewers and characters. Psychoanalytic Framework Mulvey's application of psychoanalytic theory to film analysis adds depth to her argument by exploring the subconscious motivations behind spectatorship. By drawing on Freudian and Lacanian concepts, she provides a theoretical framework for understanding the psychological underpinnings of cinematic representation. Critique of Classical Hollywood Narrative Mulvey's critique of classical Hollywood narrative conventions reveals how these conventions serve to maintain patriarchal ideologies and perpetuate the objectification of women. By examining the structure and content of mainstream cinema, she exposes the ways in which gender roles are constructed and reinforced. Exploration of Alternative Cinemas Mulvey briefly touches on alternative cinemas that challenge traditional narrative structures and representations of gender. This highlights the potential for film to subvert dominant power dynamics and offer alternative perspectives on gender and sexuality. Call for Change Ultimately, Mulvey's essay serves as a call to action, urging filmmakers and audiences alike to challenge the male gaze and embrace more diverse representations of gender and sexuality in cinema. By shining a light on the ways in which mainstream cinema perpetuates gender inequality, Mulvey opens up space for critical reflection and change within the industry. Overall, visual pleasure and narrative cinema remains a seminal work in feminist film theory, offering valuable insights into the ways in which gender shapes the production, consumption, and interpretation of visual media. Laura Mulvey's essay, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, holds significant relevance and has left a lasting legacy in the fields of film theory, feminist studies, and cultural criticism. Here's a breakdown of its contribution, impact, and legacy. Concept of the Male Gaze Mulvey introduced the concept of the male gaze, which remains a central framework for analyzing gender and power dynamics in visual media. This concept has been widely adopted and expanded upon in feminist film theory and has influenced discussions on representation and spectatorship in various media forms beyond cinema. Critique of Objectification Mulvey's critique of the objectification of women in cinema has contributed to broader conversations about gender representation in media. By highlighting how women are often reduced to passive objects of desire, she has raised awareness about the ways in which media perpetuates and reinforces patriarchal norms. Psychoanalytic Analysis Mulvey's application of psychoanalytic theory to film analysis has provided scholars with a rich theoretical framework for understanding the psychological dimensions of cinematic representation. Her use of Freudian and Lacanian concepts has influenced subsequent studies on the relationship between the unconscious mind, desire, and visual culture. Challenge to Classical Hollywood Narrative Mulvey's critique of classical Hollywood narrative conventions has prompted filmmakers and scholars to reconsider traditional storytelling methods and representations of gender and sexuality. Her work has encouraged the exploration of alternative cinematic forms that challenge dominant power structures and offer more diverse perspectives. Feminist scholarship and activism. 
visual pleasure and narrative cinema, has inspired generations of feminist scholars and activists to critically examine media representations of gender and sexuality. Mulvey's essay has played a significant role in shaping feminist film theory and has contributed to broader feminist movements advocating for social and cultural change. Impact on Film Studies Mulvey's essay remains a foundational text in film studies curricula around the world. It has influenced countless scholars, students, and filmmakers, shaping the way they analyze and understand the complexities of visual media. Visual pleasure and narrative cinema continues to be cited and discussed in academic circles and has had a lasting impact on the discipline of film studies. Overall, Laura Mulvey's Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema has made a profound contribution to our understanding of gender, power, and representation in visual media. Its enduring significance, relevance, and legacy continue to shape scholarly discourse and cultural critique in the realm of film and beyond. Laura Mulvey, born on August 15, 1941, is a British feminist film theorist, filmmaker, and cultural critic. She is best known for her groundbreaking work in feminist film theory, particularly her influential essay, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, published in 1975. Mulvey's work has significantly shaped the fields of film studies, feminist theory, and cultural studies. Mulvey studied English literature at St. Hilda's College, Oxford, and later completed her doctoral studies at the University of London. She began her academic career as a lecturer in film studies at the University of London, where she explored issues of gender, representation, and spectatorship in cinema. In Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, Mulvey introduced the concept of the male gaze, which examines how traditional Hollywood cinema often presents the viewer with a visual experience shaped by a heterosexual male perspective. This essay has had a profound impact on feminist film theory and has become a foundational text in the study of gender and media. Aside from her academic contributions, Mulvey has also worked as a filmmaker. She CO directed the experimental film, Riddles of the Sphinx, 1977, with Peter Wallen, which explores themes of motherhood, patriarchy, and female identity. Her interest in experimental cinema and avant-garde filmmaking has informed her theoretical work and provided insights into alternative modes of cinematic expression. Throughout her career, Mulvey has continued to engage with issues of gender, sexuality, and representation in both her writing and filmmaking. She has published numerous articles and books on film theory and cultural studies, further solidifying her reputation as a leading figure in feminist scholarship. Overall, Laura Mulvey's contributions to feminist film theory and cultural criticism have been immense, and her work continues to inspire scholars, filmmakers, and activists around the world.